Welcome to Heaven Awaits. If this is your first time checking this channel out, I'm glad to have you here. My name is Lee, and I narrate the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. These videos are meant to bring hope to a sometimes hopeless world and show people that there is life after death. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. To my returning viewers, I'm glad to have you back. Today's experience was posted to the Inderf website. The experiencer says that after having her baby at 31 weeks, she begins to hemorrhage that night. During that time, she is awakened by Jesus who tells her to call out to the nurses. She was also told that she would eventually become a nurse. Get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's dive into today's experience. My husband Mike and I wished to have a family, but during the first six years of our marriage, I experienced five miscarriages. We moved to Tennessee, and I was blessed to have Dr. Frank as my obstetrician. At the 29th week of gestation, I began to dilate and efface prematurely, so I was placed in the hospital. While there, I began having swelling of my feet and hands with extraordinary pain in my upper back and upper abdominal area. I also had an increase in protein in my urine. My daughter needed to come early, so she was born at 31 weeks. The delivery was normal. I was kept in labor and delivery for observation. I had been in terrible upper abdominal pain for over 18 hours without sleep because of the expansion of my swollen liver, which made breathing very difficult. Immediately before my daughter's birth, I was unable to see and could not think clearly to speak. The doctors and nurses were wonderful. They introduced themselves to me and told me what was happening all through the delivery. Later that evening, I was sleeping very well. Yet I was experiencing terrible pain in my legs and arms. It felt like what I imagined a hammer hitting my legs and arms might feel like. I heard a male voice call my nickname, Babs. I opened my eyes and asked, Who is it? What do you want? I was not very congenial because I was in so much pain and felt incredibly weak. He kept calling my name and telling me to wake up. I opened my eyes completely and looked around. I didn't see anyone, but the voice kept talking to me. I asked, where are you? Who are you? He began telling me that I must call for the nurse. He continued to explain that I was hemorrhaging and that I needed help to live. It was at this point that I no longer felt any pain. There was no fear. While he spoke to me, I heard and felt him in my brain, ears, and body. I saw a white, bright light enter the room at the ceiling over my right side. I remember thinking, this is going to hurt my eyes, because it was such an intense light. But it didn't hurt my eyes, and his voice became stronger. I questioned, is this real? What is happening to me? I made the fingers on my left hand pinch my left thigh, and it hurt. I thought, yes, I am awake. At that point, I looked for the call button. I saw it on the right side of my pillow. I tried to reach it with my left hand, but I was too weak. I could not lift my left arm to reach across myself to lift the button. My left arm simply fell to my side. My right arm was unusable because it had IVs in it, and my arm was tied to a board that was tied to the bed. His voice was so calm, so loving, so reassuring. I have never felt so much love and peace in my whole life, not before or after that event. It rewrote my entire life. Everything I felt, believed, and hoped for was all changed by his presence. I began asking him questions, and he was answering them faster than I could form the questions in my mind. He told me to vocally call the nurse, so I called for the nurse. I could hear two nurses talking outside my room, not six feet from my door. One of the nurses asked if the other nurse could hear someone calling. My voice was so weak that when she got up, she began going door to door at the end of the corridor. I was so excited for her to come in and see the light, so I could tell her that Jesus was in my room. He had already told me who he was. He told me not to frighten her, so I asked her to check my urinary catheter because I was wet and lying in it. He said she would be very upset. In actuality, I was lying in blood from my shoulders to my calves that squished when I moved. It was cold, but there was no pain anymore. When she came in, I was so disappointed that she did not see the light. I saw the light, but she did not. She became highly alarmed when she saw the blood. I was taken immediately to surgery. 
While I was being wheeled down the corridor to the surgical suite, he told me I would be fine. I could feel him pull away from me. I didn't want him to go. The light left as it came. During the time I was waiting for the nurse to enter my room, I was told that I would live to raise my children. This was an important comfort, as I was to experience breast cancer and a stroke. I had been told by the doctors that it would be very unlikely for me to ever have any more children. I went on to have two more children, which made three in all. I was also told that I would become a registered nurse. I laughed to myself and thought, how, when? But 20 years later, I went back to school and graduated top of my class to become a registered nurse. Because of my own experiences, I have always been very careful to watch what I say around unconscious patients. Patients can hear us. Early the next morning, three men entered my room in the labor and delivery corridor. The head surgeon who had operated on me and the hospital attorney stood at my doorway. They told me that they had heard that I had a sentinel event the evening before and wondered if I intended to sue the hospital. I told them that the surgeon saved my life and to leave my room. No more was said. I will always be grateful for the loving care I received at the hospital and for the event that changed my life. That does it for today's experience. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed.